as we to receive the divine, divine favor. And this moment, we want to start another one. And this is going to help us actually understand much of us. That's a little level of much of us. Now, I want, I want us to go and delve deep into this topic that is, uh, I will bring it to you that, about uh, who are you. Bejrani, Bejrani. Bejrani. Look at your neighbor, your neighbor. Who are you? Who are you? I'm a good thing. I'm a good person. Look at the other neighbor. Your neighbor. Who are you? Who are you? Perhaps you are sitting to the neighbor that you don't know him or her. And when we are talking about who are you, it's not about the name. It's not about the name. It's about the identity of this person. Because we want to understand who we are. You know, some of us have lived a life, a, a, a life full of lies. We are living a life full of lies. In other words, we are not living what God created us to be. We cannot even understand who we are before people. Even ourselves to describe. I remember one moment I went to an interview. Not even one moment. Several interviews I have attended. And we are forces a question on our visual. Describe who you are. Who are you? Now, there are some who say stories, there are some who see the name of the head and describe who they are, but in a nation, we need to understand who you are. Some of these things we fail, because we fail because of simple questions that we don't, we don't know the answer. We think we know, but we don't know. What is your situation? Who are you? This is a question that was posed to this man called John the Baptist. There are people who are sent to him to ask the question, who are you? Because they understood that this man is doing greater things. The miracles are happening through his life. Is he the Messiah that we are expecting? Is he among the, one of the prophets that I imagine up? Who, who is this person? So people needed to know exactly what or who John was. So men were sent to him and they went and asked the question, Who are you? Who are you? And this is the question that I'm posing to you. Who are you? Do you know who you are? Jay, when I talk about Nani, you see, Jibu, to not get the land in a minute, come up one night at Saidia, Ili a combo, a wesepu, Kuchiemewa, Zaidi na Zaidi. Amen? Amen. 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 Let me tell you this. The difference between the rich and the poor is not how much they have, it is information. We have seen on this one, they are so they are so called especially in Kenya. We we, we level them the rich with the billionaires, others you tell you we say that they are the dynasties, others you say this when they have many assets. And let me tell you, the difference between those who have and those who don't have it is one thing, information. Look at your neighbor, your neighbor. Neighbor. It is information. It's information. One has the information that will advance him in life and does not have it. The one does not have it. You have the information concerning what you need to do to advance. The other person doesn't have the information on what he or she is supposed to do. And when you talk about information, you cannot talk about information and leave out knowledge. This go hand in hand. But it's just a few. Amen. So the difference between the great and the small is the knowledge. The knowledge. <laughs> this person whom you think is so great, there is something that he knows that you don't know. There is an information that he has received that you haven't received. There is a secret that he has that... that uh, one time I was, I was reading comments on social media that one day somebody asked a question from Mtu Abaya and Katika Luka and Mijana and Sema Jama and Ame Omoka. Did you know Omoka? Ame Ame Tajirika. Hey, my friend, can you tell me the secret? Would you go ahead? And this person could not reveal the truth or the process through which I did part of it, at the end in an answer, I want to say, Mungu, too. Mungu. Yes, you told Mungu, I'm a position, 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 I'm a position
kuna information huu mtu ambaye ako naye ambaye inamsaidia kufika mahali amefika kuna knowledge ambayo imemfanya kuwa mkubwa that is enable him to become greater than that small person ambayo uko pale you cannot compare the two there is no way you can do the comparison between these two people there is a saying that says that a mount mountain is his ignorance kile ambacho kinakufanya uone mambo kuwa ni mlima si ati ni mlima ni kwa sababu wewe mwenyewe unapuuza unataka kujua sili ama ufahamu wewe ufahamu wa navigate through that mountain because milima itakuwa katika maisha utakosa kukutana na milima itakuwa lakini kuna wengine hiyo milima wanaiona kama mahali tambarare the reason as why they are seeing it as a plain place it's because they have the secret and the secret is that they don't ignore things they don't they ignore the reason as why others are thriving and you are seen there it's because they have got the information they have received the knowledge that you have ignored something that is really important in your life that's why you are not able to know who you are you have refused to receive the information that will help identify yourself or know who you are on this earth look at your neighbor mbe neighbor neighbor a mount mountain amwambie neighbor neighbor perhaps perhaps your mountain is as a result of your ignorance is as a result of your ignorance if you do not think the great mountains katika maisha fear come upon you you don't want to uh, people say that in business they risk Mm-hmm. You don't want to step to take an, a step of faith or you risk in life because that fear that you have has been brought up by ignorance that ignorance has created a big mountain that when you look at it you say ah is it that boy ah i'm preaching to people ambao they are positive minded amen wale ambao when they see things they say like Caleb said Caleb and Joshua we are well able to defeat these people we are not seeing ourselves as grasshoppers before them but we are well able yes they are giants in nature but whatever that lies in us can prepare us to go before them and even defeat them that's why that's the reason as why David was able to defeat Goliath he knew who he was he understood that whatever God has deposited in me will be able to help me to push this giant down and that's the mentality that you need to have when you understand who you are there is nothing that will be impossible with you Amen. if you have God and God has said in his word the word that he has lifted above his name that with him everything is possible then nothing is going to be impossible with you Amen. you shall conquer those mountains you shall go through the valleys and you come out as a victorious person because the bible says even though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil the reason as to why you are you, fear comes upon you it's because you are seeing and when you see whatever you are seeing is magnified within you to become something that is impossible you need to understand who you are ukitia leo wewe ni nani hauta baba hizo na vitu vidogo vidogo hello some of us we are where we are today because we understand who we are and i've come to tell you this perhaps you didn't know who you are you need to understand who you are that will prepare you to higher levels in life am i helping somebody here When I look at you I don't see poor people I don't see strugglers I don't see people who are under a bondage but I'm looking at a people right now even though now you may not have 
But when I look at you tomorrow, I see great men and women. I see the billionaires in this nation. I see world changers. I see people who shall create impact upon this earth. People whose names shall be recorded. Like those people, you know, the Bible says that there are people about the invented things. When you don't want to come and see listen, even the Bible says, even Elijah who moved mountains, who was able to command to command the rain to come. He, the Bible says that he was a man like you and me. But what he did was so extraordinary. What made him to do what happened? It's after realizing who he was. I have preached to you here about divine favor and it's let me say you test what that happened. Yesterday it happened to me again. I this person calls me. It's a good friend of mine, a manager of a certain company. I can hear man in the corner here. We combine son. I have to come with a food. I can request Kuba the message that I was preaching previously. Because when the divine favor of God comes upon your life, and you are operating in this divine favor. There are things that you need to understand. There are things that you need to understand. Things that you will do and things that you will not do. And you can only do what you need to do once you understand who you are. Hello? Who is a part of Kibali? Who is a part of office? Who is a part of the office? Who is a part of the company secretary? At the answer to and upon reading it, in the book. Siake, anything that you are not supposed to do, you will not do because you understand who you are. Are you thinking this? Yes, you will not compromise because divine favor has come upon you. But once you understand what is happening, you will know one thing that I am not. A type of people, and by the kind of people you can come and in there to six cities. Ah, if you need me, call me by your name or by my name. Hey, we shall be always some sanga. Yes, sir. I will turn, I will give you an ear. Like you could even come and do it. We can assume we can fit the kind of sound. We can see what we do. Now, let's do your people. Hello. Hello. Understand who you are. Understand who you are. There are books that have been written and the names of people, great people, Maharipare, out of the things about what find. I know some we are not we, most of us are learned and we understand some of the history makers upon this earth. When you have a king chase of and I know what about you go to come to see you. They started like Peter the Godogo. The reason as why you are here is because God is charging you for the next level. He's empowering you for the next level. So that you may understand when you are at that level, how you are going to be a pale, 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 you are on track to watch your destiny. You are on track to watch your destiny. Destiny. Amen. Amen. What is your Amen. There are so many people who have done great discoveries. It is true. But one of the greatest discoveries that you will ever have is discovering who you are. That is one of the greatest. It's like when we preach to people out there. We preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, and when they make a decision, we tell them if there is any, any great decision you've ever made in your life, it is the decision to receive Jesus Christ. So, in this life, when you are born again, one of the greatest discoveries that you will ever have is, is to discover who you are. Okay, to do how many nine, you know, be away. I don't want to worship. What is your city? Amen. There is not any other great discovery than discovering who you are. Because if you discover who you are, 
you will understand that there are speakers that are yet to be discovered. You will understand that there are laptops, more designable laptops that you need to discover, that are yet to be discovered. And who is that person to discover? It is you. It is us. There are things that's why even preachers when they come up they are advice to their mentors be who you are don't become somebody else we miss out when we become other people but when you become you get what the creator has to be to create impact in every place about the night you are being recognized, you are being honored, you are being applauded, although in one or the other, there is something that makes you outstanding that others don't have. That's why you find us even as ministers, we need each other because the word of Jesus, in the word of Jesus, there is grace that has been released upon my life so that the other preacher doesn't have. There is a grace you have that I don't have. When we come together, then we complement each other to fulfill the purpose of God in our life. Some of us, we will always, we will, we will only know who we are through other people that God will bring in our lives. If you become a long ranger, it becomes a challenge. Somebody says that no man is an island. When you are with other people, you will discover even who you are. Like today, you are here today. God has opened how He's opening your eyes to understand. Better to understand better. Come with one of the and we give it 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 and we when you to me, you say, you know, 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 you me, I believe, and let me, <coughs> I want, I, with my, 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 my main that I work with, I want to begin to work on my chukum, and then I'm going to say, if I see it in gumu, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going Am I helping somebody here? Yes. What is your view? Look at the life of this man, Jacob. This man, he was driven away by his brother because he took away his little brother's name. How many inheritance and value he gave to Jesus? Now he has to go. 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 Let us 
kuishi vizuri ah ah zameni angalia hiyo maisha yako vizuri utapata ile sio maisha ambayo Bwana alikuambia God created you for something else some of us we are in relationships that are so toxic and we are there holding my friend go back to the drawing board ask God is this what you created me for ama nilijipata mahali pale pili ambacho Jacob alijipata katika mambo ambayo hayakusaidia hapo wakati alikutana na Mungu au malaika wa Mungu akambadilisha But you need to understand one thing you have the power and the authority to change things You have the power because the decision making lies within you Nobody will make decisions for you The decisions you make ni wewe mwenyewe utaamua If you want to make the right decision and pursue that which God will take you to be so that you may become who you are supposed to be it's up to you if you want to remain in the same situation it's up to you let me tell you something sometimes it's good to accept challenges when they come they challenge you to move to the next level they open your eyes and I'm not talking about challenges of suffering or whatever there are things that come your way to hit you so that you may open your eyes Are you getting this? Yes. <coughs> Satan tried to tempt Jesus several times so that he may divert the attention of the identity of Jesus Christ. I am telling you what I mean, sir. Oh, you know what I mean? 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 If you are the son of God, change this rules to recover. If you are the son of God. But everybody knew that he was the son of God. Even the devil knew. But what should you bring questions? to ask me who I am and yet you know why should you bring issues to test me now the devil was testing Jesus and he warned you that he was the son of God and listen to this and watch a bar and he had 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 a bar kama wewe mwana wa Mungu simeandikwa malaika watakufanya nini kama wewe mwana wa Mungu he tried but he defeated now let me tell you something hai kuishia hapo tu even at the cross he used the people ambao wamekuwa kiona Yesu wanakula unajua sisi there are so many people follow him for so many reasons among the reasons for the issue of stomach not even for what stomach is And now they are here Jesus of the cross. They are the ones who are, who are seeing the miracles happening, they are the ones who are seeing declarations made by Jesus, praying for people, commanding demons out. Now they are there, and Jesus is on the cross. If you are the son of God, talk about The devil will not let you go until you come to him with the truth of your true identity. Who are you? But I don't know because Jesus defeated him. He did not stop, he did not. But that did not stop the devil from fighting. And he was still the king of the left from fighting. But he was sure that he was totally defeated. He defeated him. What is just here? Amen wakati mwingine acha niambie kitu tunachipata kwa hali ya mambo we don't know who we are and things are happening in our lives that makes us have questions we entertain evil thoughts in us because of the current situation that we find ourselves in unachipata na maswali unaanza kujiuliza i am asking you 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 ask you ask yourself so many questions
He might know, but he wants to make you feel so in fear and worthy and loved. What is just fear? Amen. That's why sometimes you go back. See, you should be doing this. You don't need to get a lot of people to say that. Go and go. There's so many, but let me tell you something. Sometimes those words that you speak that are so negative are the same same words that the devil will come with them to you. The same same words are the opinions of work of being done. So Kushikubani. Yes, the situation commands either it dictates otherwise. But what does the word say based on the situation? You apply the word of God. And you become what the word of God says because you are you are. If the word says that you will live a victorious life, then walk like a victorious person. But it's just me. The prodigal son did a lot of terrible things. Wakacha mapa alitoa karika nyumba ama kwa mtazi wake wakacha alitoa uri. He went na alifanya mapa wati meoza uoza uoza rotten. But the Bible says that when this man came back to his senses he realized that he is not he is not a chance at talking like a person. He, deserve, he doesn't deserve to eat with the beans. And that's why I'm telling you, you want to realize who you are. You don't deserve to eat under the table. You deserve to eat on the table. You deserve to sit with the kings and queens. There is this story of this lady. About, we are giving this Christmas that uh, there was a man of God who got an employee, a lady, and he put up with a neck as a Chagas working at a Kalek of Panya Christ, up from the summer. I put a summer quack a set in Pokopenda, and he was as they walked on a whistle. And then this man went up against from a broom, the way they are, we are coming against from a broom. And then this car, this, 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 uh, this, this guests are being sound by this lady very well. Very well to a point that he was so impressed. And they gave they, they, they told him they gave him the contacts and told him to, to send to send an email to them. Perhaps I took Sahada of Tatoka. And let me tell you this lady even didn't know what to what we call email. I get up a cyber of good email for the first time. Nakawesa Kwatumia. Do you know the next thing that happened? I was a pretty few I got a invitation you are going to Bambo, I can do a day. He said, "Kila kitu kime akatumiwa, utakazi, akaida nango, akaida nango, akatitu kule bizuri kwa sababu yolo kaima yuko na wakisawa wakini." And all of a sudden, my sister who was not there, came and did that. I got the main person who was supporting the ministry of this person by the woman who did that. What happened? There was an encounter. Through serving God, the, 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 this person, the senior, he encountered with this helpers that helped him to realize who he was. Or who she was, sorry. Now, my second, I'm So, we should show the man who of here, Papa Umekwisha, na kutangazia siku ya leo hauja kwisha. Your future is so bright and shiny. One thing you need to understand is know who you are. Yo, it's your love. Na kwambia, utaenda mbali. Utaenda mbali. Then again, I remember one prophecy that I was given. This is how I was at home. I went to America, Dubai, three countries in the nation. US, Dubai, I got a lot of South Africa. a lot of It will show that then the transactions that I'll be doing in these countries are so big. 
yenye tutakuwa ni nene kama tupata matatu la kurudi unachokienda kwa matatu kwa usitoe kwa kutoa pesa si kweli so if i would the one to garantee ya kumaanisha hiyo pesa mungu atakuwa ameachili sio neema ikakushukia katika jina la Yesu don't see here when you know who you are unaangalia kule unaangalia So this protocol son he said he became correct and he realized the son of whom he was he understood that his father was so rich super rich and yet he was lavishing in poverty na anaumia pale so once he came back to his senses things changed mambo yalibadilika he decided that he would rent we would rise arise and go to his father na akafanya hivyo ameenda kwa baba yake akasema hata kama atanichukua kama Asleep. So be it, but I'm going back to my father. As today you want to make that decision. Perhaps you may see my shaka kwa kivolela malele. Lakini si kuelewa kwa sababu ana nataka utendea wewe na you need to make that decision that you need to go to God. You need to come back to him. You need to return to him so that he may bring you back to your or he may release that joy that he took again. You open it within that joy. What is your sifi? Amen. But ukiwa wewe ni mtu ambaye hautielewi hautielewi wewe ni nani na kuambia shetani neno no haitakuzungusha hivyo ndio maana wewe utapata leo hii wako hapo unapata ile neno the next moment wameka chini ya mganga na wafanye ukaguchi the next moment utapata wameenda kwa kumbii fulani because you don't know who you are You always you don't understand who you are when even you sit under the servant of God and stop that which God has. Remember, I always told you servants of God are rich. True servants of God are I mean, I mean, true servants of God. They are super rich that you need to go and connect and you receive what you need. You must is to connect and you receive what you need that will help you go where God will take you to. God is a spirit. You need to be firm and understand. If you are going to go to Osu and from what you got to fund to talk about the message of Jesus Christ. And it is you are here now. And it is for him and it is elewa. Kwa kiwango cha kwamba aliwaambia once I am the son of God. I am the bread of life. I am I am the truth. I am the way the truth and the life. There are so many things that he told them that who he was. He was God himself was that he had manifested through through man through the form of a man. Some of these things they were able to learn but who are you? Do you know who you are? Do you know who you are? you know you are let me ask you when i ask this question do you know who you are what comes in your mind does your professional whatever come in your mind or what what comes in your mind or what you have in your mind is it the degrees that you have attained is it the job that you have that you define who you are is it uh, the life that you are living that you define you what is your identity both in the corporate and in the in the king as for me i know two things god has called me to be a minister of the gospel i know through which light i have always told you He has called me also or he has wired me to work in the market as a professional. I will try come with an idea to go now leave the market and concentrate on the kingdom matters. I will do so. But before he does that I will do what is 
That's why you have to come back out. Sit down and give this man an answer. Come on, Uduma, I am with you. I just want to give this man a break. Because I want to have you for the sake. Yeah, I'm going to be kind. I'm going to have my talk. I'm going to be kind. I'm going to be kind. I'm going to have my talk. I'm going to be kind. So what I'm going to be kind is not for honor. It's for the sake of being kind. I'm going to be 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 kind. Fanya kile Mungu alikumbia ufanye. Na unapofanya hivyo unampendeza yeye hata anakutunuku zaidi. Amen. Na kukuinua zaidi. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. The day you realize that. I did it. The day you realize who you are. Hii ndio siku ambayo utakuwa umeshinda vita vingi katika maisha yako. Amen. Sababu tunapigana vita We are fighting battles that we are not supposed to fight. And why are you fighting those battles? Because you are in the wrong point of view. Let me tell you something. There are some people here by now. Okay, but we are all their own companies. I repeat, they are all companies. But you are not there because you are on the wrong feet. What your mother told you to do? Kile mama pali pambe ukufanya mo kusome ya mama baba yako. Lambda wali kudaivaji. Utokane na kile ambacho mii haitaka ufanya. That's why you find that tunasomesha watoto. Tunangora na kukua engineer. Na kukua huyo siyo engineer. Kida tayo. wengine utapata kwamba wamechukua kile udaktari na kumbe hao ni wakuuza nyama kwa butchery. Ndio maana unawapata wakati ambapo wako pale wanafanya operation, wanachinja mtu ni kama wanataka nyama ya kuku. Ile iko ndani mwa let's be let's be the truth. They have not really the true identity. Wengine wamechukua kadia ndio wali na kumbe hata kuna ana water of tichi kadia ndani yao. They are supposed to be on the market selling things katika ulimwengu wa biashara. That's why you can pata kupale kwa shule baada ya kufundisha anapiga mahesabu bila atakudifray wewe mzazi. Utoe pesa alifaike na wewe mtoto wako. That's why now this fine schools are trying to become merchandise business enterprises wazazi ndio wanaumia kwa sababu rock people and they they are in the rock career kabisa they are not supposed to be there lakini wako pale kwa sababu ni nini ni kazi wanataka pesa ni ombi langu acha niwaambie as long as you are under this grace that the lord will open your eyes you will find yourself at the right place kama sai as you are talking uko at the wrong place Let God relocate you to the rightful place. Mahali ambapo unafaa kuwa, unahudumu, unafanya kazi na una earn the way you are supposed to earn as God designed that you may. Amen. Sisi hatukushrago. Kama nikupigie bwana makofi, mpigie bwana makofi. Ni kama supposed to live a life of struggle. Atichukua mjambo alikuwa ni ona wagari alikuwa ni kesha kai baba yako akawa the same ama maybe the same maybe this is what happens and that's why some of this flow from generation your father was a chef a cook your grandfather the same wewe umezaliwa unajipata the same thing let me tell you some day hiyo kitu nataka kukata na mwambie Mungu alikuambia alikuambia ukoe sio kile baba yako alikuwa na babu yako Unless unless ni kile Mungu amesema utakuwa through that it's okay. Lakini kama sio hiyo, haifai kuwa katika maisha yako. Big thing a pastor doesn't mean that my children are going to be pastors unless God calls them to. Okay, I have no problem. But I will let them choose their careers. Whatever they tell me I will say okay, go ahead. And I pray when they choose their careers wanachagua the right career. Na ile kile watachagua hata wewe watoto wako na wajuku wangu kile watakao kufanya kufanya as long as the right thing ama katika 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 culture ama tradition for whatever ukiangalia kile wataka kufanya hakitakuwa against the norms 
ni kitu kione nyu unaona iko safi kuzaa yakoko bwana ata locate watoto wako watoto watoto wako na kitu na kuendelea into the rightful positions to understand who they are and they were to make that way sio tu waenda kwa ibati bwana isasi hii kitu kisha 